You're in the middle of 20 minutes of news with Herb Weisbaum on Como News 1000 FM 97.7. Naked women are back in Playboy magazine, ending a year-old ban on the nudity that made the magazine famous. Playboy celebrated the reversal on Twitter and Facebook with the hashtag Naked is Normal. The about face came yesterday with the release of Playboy's March-April issue. The 63-year-old magazine had banished naked women from its print edition because it felt the content had become passe in an era of online porn that's just a click away on personal computers and smartphones. In his post on his Twitter account, Cooper Hefner, Playboy's chief executive officer and the son of the magazine's founder, Hugh Hefner, called the nudity ban a mistake. Let's talk about this with San Diego State University business ethics lecturer, lecturer Wendy Patrick. Thanks for having me. Do you believe Playboy made a mistake here by pulling nudity out of the magazine? I don't know that they can conclude that. And I'll give you a couple of reasons why I say that. You know, I think Playboy should be most concerned about the fact that most people, at least many people, let's say, didn't realize the magazine had gone non-nude because they don't buy it, not even for the articles. Uh, That may be the larger problem. It may be a brand management issue that goes beyond their use of naked women. That may not be the kind of thing one needs to go to a magazine for anymore. In fact, ironically, that's the reason they chose to go non-nude a year ago, is they acknowledge that nudity is an internet click or tap or swipe away, no matter what age group you belong to. And that was one of the, the things that they believe drew advertisers to them last year, when they actually saw an initial increase in interest. So here we are a year later with a decision to bring back the nudes. I guess we're all going to be watching to see if that affects the bottom dollar. But it's likely there are other societal forces at work in the increasing disinterest in this particular magazine. It's interesting because clearly there's no question Playboy had some really powerful over the years, powerful articles that were written for them. And is this a sign that people will maybe read the articles after they bought the magazine to see the naked women? (laughs) <laughs> right, it, right. If they if they read the articles at all, but you know, you bring up a very interesting point. The bottom line is not that Playboy is a dead company with no future. That's not it. But their brand management, their rebranding, let's call it that, should be more than simply bringing back nudes. That probably isn't going to get them where they want to go. For instance, I mean, look at all the brands that have taken to the digital platform, social media. I know Playboy does that also. But you know, long gone are the days where this was a coveted magazine, not even available of, on the rack and it was behind the counter it was in wrapping it was you know the the lure of the taboo the sensationalistic aspect because that's no longer the case now on any level maybe their rebranding has to be more of an appeal to millennials a digital appeal a social media appeal in other words sure they can continue to survive and thrive but simply bringing back nudes isn't who knows i guess we're all going to learn together but that might not be the magic pill for its increased success. Going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Wendy Patrick is a business ethics lecturer at San Diego State University. Thank you for spending time with us today, Wendy. Always a pleasure. Thanks for having me. Oh, I remember when I was a teenager working at my father's drugstore, the Playboy was behind the counter and people had to specifically ask for it. I'd like a pack of gum and a couple of cigarettes and, uh, yeah, that magazine over there. Como News Time is 119.